What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Just Talk Smith channel. In today's video, we're going to be showing you how to open up a set of LED tail lights. And the tail lights I'm going to be showing you in today's video are for like 08 through 16, which is pretty much 99 through 16. I already have a video on this using the oven method, but on a lot of tail lights, I'm coming to find out after your all's feedback that the oven method doesn't work. So I started thinking, there's got to be another way to open these tail lights, and I've also ran into tail lights myself that I haven't been able to get open in the oven. And I came to the realization that a lot of these tail lights are sealed with a sealant that has a higher melting point or softening point than the actual lens itself. So if you guys heat that up to where the lens, um, the sealant that's holding the lens onto the tail light gets soft, you're past the point of return. Your lens is already melted and warped from all of the heat. So I found an even better way to do this, and that's what I'm going to be showing you guys in today's video. So if you guys enjoy the video, or if you all have watched any of my past and previous videos, it would really mean a lot to me if you get in there, click that subscribe button down below, and enjoy the video. Let's get into it. All right, guys. So in today's video, the exact tail light that we'll be working on is a Spider brand tail light. Most of these are going to all be sealed with the exact same sealant, except for those ones um, that I already done a YouTube video on, which I will try to link that in the description box down below or it may be popping up on the screen right now. They are a little bit different. Those I still do in the oven, but literally every other tail light that I do now, I use this method. So everything that you're gonna need is your tail lights. And to actually physically get them apart and to take all the LED motherboards and stuff out, you will need a Phillips head or a flathead screwdriver. That's all you need. A heat gun, Phillips head screwdriver, and a pick. So I'm gonna be showing you guys, and this may take a second because this method actually ends up being quicker because you don't have to wait on your oven to preheat so what we're going to do is we're going to take this uh, heat gun we're going to lay down a towel we're going to flip this over and i'm going to show you on the table and then i actually do this holding the tail light so i'll set up the tripod and show you guys that all right so the method that i use now instead of the oven unless i'm doing those one tail lights that i already have the youtube video on you take this heat gun you're going to want to hold the tail light like this obviously don't drop it turn your heat gun on high and then this is a little bit time consuming and you want to have patience if you do not heat this up enough and this is going to be something like i can set a timer and tell you but depending on your speed and everything else it's going to be kind of trial and error guys i had to learn just like you guys will have to sadly but i'm going to go ahead and give you all a huge head start that i did not have um because a lot of people keep this whole tail light uh headlight separation thing a big humongous secret um and in the end somebody can buy a set of tail lights and take them apart and paint them but if they don't use the same quality supplies and stuff that you have or they're not buying the tail lights in bulk you know your prices can stay competitive to where it comes down to the people that want to do it themselves they're going to do it themselves and if they want to do it themselves and do it right they're going to be spending just as much if not more doing it than having you know a professional build them so anyway you just want to go around and around and around and around and obviously guys if you start bubbling the plastic or something you want to slow down and stop um you don't want to go too fast you don't want to go too slow you're just gonna have to find that happy median and i don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up but you will start to hear the actual lens and the housing like separating a little bit. Uh, like you'll hear like a cracking noise. Right there, just now done it like two little clicks. So what that is, is that is the sealant and the lens like starting to separate just a little bit. Obviously, if I take my pick or a flathead screwdriver and I try to pry this apart right now, it's not gonna work. This takes a lot of patience, guys, and if you don't have patience, then just pay somebody to do it. I'm not even trying to get you to pay me to do it, although you can go and check out my Instagram page, rooster underscore retros, and that's where I kind of post some of the stuff that I do as far as color match goes. I just do this for extra cash on the side. And another thing, YouTube content. You know, I'm making content with this, trying to help you guys out because like I said, I've been there. How do you think these people learned how to do this, guys? They just went for it and tried it. And I can't tell you how many sets of taillights I've broke. Uh, if this is your first time trying it, I wish you the best of luck, but there's a huge possibility 
that you may mess up and you may not do it right and you could possibly break your tail lights. You wanna heat it up slowly so the heat can work all the way through and get to the sealant and the lens. But this is the only way that you can do it going around and around and around. Um, and it works better because the only place that has a heat source is the mating surface, like where the lens is, like in the channel. So you're not gonna have to worry about warping your lens this way because your lens, I can lick this lens, like it's not hot at all. Now back here, around through here, it is starting to get very hot. So you don't wanna get that too hot and stopping every five or six minutes of heating and just letting it, it's not gonna cool down. It obviously is cooling down, but it's gonna let that heat soak in and soak through and it's gonna heat it up more evenly. So this is gonna be something, and depending on what kind of tail lights you're doing, it could be different. But on these, I would say that it takes me about 10 minutes to open them up. But I am gonna fast forward and skip to where I have this heated up enough, and then I'll show you it separating. I'm gonna heat it up just a little bit more. It's pretty much ready to come apart, but I'm gonna heat it up just a little bit more. All right, guys, so this is warm enough now. And we wanna take our pick and I'm gonna come down through here. And I don't know how well you'll be able to see that. You can see it starting to separate and you just gotta go just a little bit at a time. And if it starts getting tough, like right through there, so that means that from here to here, it's not warm enough, guys. You don't want to rush this. So from there all the way to here, it's good. And then right here, it needs to be just a little bit warmer. So this is pretty much separated in this section right here. Now we just need to heat right through here. And as we heat right through here, we wanna also keep back through here warm like I said, this is time consuming, but you don't have to worry about warping the lens doing it this way. And some people would even just cut them open and you can cut them open. Some tail lights you actually can only cut open. So some of them, the way that they're designed, whenever it goes together, there's no getting them back apart. So like, for example, on like the 08 F-150s, I'm yet to come across a set of those that I've ever been able to open up without cutting. Okay, so right here, we're under it pretty good. And I know for a fact that it's warm enough so I can start prying on it. Come down here. All right, so right there, it just now broke loose. So now it is completely broke loose from here all the way down to here. So now we still wanna keep that warm so that doesn't reseal, uh, but we just kinda wanna go in a letter C back and forth up through here now. And we wanna get that as warm as possible, just like the front was. And as soon as we get done heating up this backside, we'll be able to pull this uh, lens right off. So I'm gonna go ahead and heat up the backside uh, while of course keeping the whole tail light warm, even though it is completely disconnected from right here to right here and up through here. So I'm pretty much just focusing on this backside of the housing. And then once I get that warm enough, we'll be able to pull the lens off. Okay guys, so I do have this warm enough to go ahead and pull this completely apart. So right there it went. You just now seen that live. I only fast forwarded it a couple of times. I'm not keeping any secrets from you guys. I'm not hiding anything or making it seem harder or easier than it is. Now I will say guys, this does take a little bit more skill and just doing it, like just time. It's just like anything, like I'm not the best welder, but if I continue welding and welding and welding and welding, you'll become a better welder. If you continue doing this and doing this and doing this, you'll become better and be able to tell, hey, I'm getting that too hot. Hey, that's not hot enough. I don't wanna break the lens. Or hey, if I keep prying on this, the lens is gonna crack. Like you will learn and whatever they seal this with is really weird. So the remaining sealant on these tail lights came out on the lens. So I literally just heat this up with a heat gun and I'll be able to pull this off. I'm not really sure what sealant this is that they use, but it's not too awful bad to deal with. Go right here, pull it off. I mean, look at that guys. 
go right here, pull it off. Okay, there's your lens, literally a brand new lens. I cannot stress enough. Go ahead, flip this baby over. Let me move this, move this, move this. Flip this baby over, pull out your masking tape. And go ahead and start putting the tape inside. Because you don't want to get any overspray inside of here. I do paint, I do paint my tail lights, um, the lenses. I clear cut the lenses off of the tail lights now. So if you've watched one of my older videos, I used to actually put the tail lights back together, and then I would. And then I would paint the border, so I actually don't do that anymore. I just found that it was easier and quicker, less cleanup, saves the customer money, saves me time, makes me more money. If I just go ahead and go ahead and tape off the inside of this lens, and after you do that, you cannot get any fingerprints on the inside of this lens. Take me a razor blade, cut off the excess tape, and then you don't have to worry about getting fingerprints inside of this lens. Sand this with a thousand grit sandpaper, do your border, paint your border, peel the masking tape, clear coat the whole lens. So same thing goes, just like whenever I peeled the sealant off of the lens, you're just gonna wanna heat this up, get all of the old sealant out of the channel, like through here, like right here, there's some old sealant, so I'll heat that up, pull that out, right down through here, there's some old sealant, so I'll heat this up and pull all that out. All right, guys, and just like that, you have your lens and you have your tail light. You're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So like I said in this video multiple times, go around and around and around and around with a heat gun. Probably it should take you about 10 minutes to open up each tail light. And this will work on almost all tail lights that I've ever tried. So I hope this helps some of you all. I know this is kind of a subject that a lot of people that build headlights and tail lights like this is like a mystery how they get them open and stuff and i know that a lot of you all were baking your tail lights in the oven and i just now discovered this that a lot of tail lights the melting point of the sealant is higher than the melting point on the lens so some of you all with different makes and models of vehicle were destroying your tail lights and melting your tail lights so i want to make this video just to show you guys another option if baking it in the oven doesn't work for you so try tuning down the temperature if you're going to try it in the oven. But this is my go-to way, um, no matter what. So I don't even use I don't even use the oven anymore. Um, I do use the oven putting stuff back together, but I don't use the oven taking stuff apart. I hope this helped you guys out. Um, like I said, this is kind of just something that you'll have to play around with and try. I can't tell you how many sets of tail lights I've broke and lost money on, um, having to buy a new set of tail lights and figure it out. So it's something. Just kind of, you know, do it at your own risk. And always remember, everybody starts out as nobody. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.